Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT. Are you watching the right video? Well, if you're tired of feeling old or left out, and or you just want to learn how to use ChatGPT, then yes. Questions answered in today's video. What is ChatGPT? How do you use it? And why should you use it? First, some caveats and redirects. This is video number two in the Big Four AI Chatbot series, or Explainer series. Check out the first overview description down below if you haven't already. We're skipping the background info covered in that video and diving right into ChatGPT 3.5, the free version. Okay, ChatGPT, what is it? It's an AI chatbot created by OpenAI that lives on the internet. It generates human-like answers to human questions, aka prompts, and it's capable of generating an answer to any question. This is because it has essentially learned the internet. Imagine being able to ask the internet any question and always get the most relevant response. This is what ChatGPT does. It's a chatbot, and it's also a genius. Able to draw on its vast storage of knowledge, i.e. the internet, to answer anything you ask it. It draws on this knowledge to serve as your own personal genius, to educate you, collaborate with you, and create for you. All right, so I've explained what it is. Next, I'm gonna show you how it works, <laughs> how it helps to educate you, collaborate with you, and create for you. So we're gonna jump over to chat.openai.com. All right, how does it work? You ask it a question, it gives you an answer. You type a question, it provides a response. Or you type a prompt and it provides a response or answer. If nothing else, ChatGPT should be your faster, more efficient, more relevant Google. But it does so much more than that. Um, in addition to hallucinating, uh, that's explained in the video to, in the video included in the video description down below not for this video well, let's show you how it works so we are going to ask it a question or provide a prompt so hey how does chat gpt work and it provides an answer now as you can see it's providing us a somewhat high level or technical answer and while that can be helpful if we're on that level if we're not it's not super helpful especially if we're gonna talk about how ChatGPT can help to educate us. And I'm gonna talk about how ChatGPT is, can basically be your genius tutor to teach you anything. But if it's teaching you at a level beyond your comprehension or mine, it's not super helpful. So how do we make ChatGPT our genius tutor? Well, we asked it a question and it's given us this answer. We're like, yeah, appreciate it. So, because it is a chatbot that understands the conversation we're having, for all intents and purposes, all intents and purposes, all we have to do is ask a follow-up. We don't have to rewrite the same question a different way. It's as if we're talking to Socrates, uh, our genius tutor. So I'm just gonna ask it a follow-up or a refining prompt to explain it to me as if I was 12 using metaphor or analogy and to give me a shorter answer. Go ahead and hit the return key. Boom. Now, 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 he, she, it is talking on our level. And you can pause the screen to catch any of these um, answers that it's provided if you like, but we're just gonna keep moving. Uh, but as you can see here, better question, better response. Um, so if you want ChatGPT to perform as your genius tutor, ask it the kind of questions that gives you the kind of answers that you need um, by crafting those, those prompts. All right, ChatGPT to help educate you, your genius tutor to teach you anything. ChatGPT can also be your genius collaboration partner, able to help you with any reading or writing tasks. Let me show you the first example I've got teed up for you here. All right, so, Please summarize. ChatGPT is an excellent summarizer. And so I'm just gonna jump over to uh, this other blog post that I've got pulled up. Uh, one of my favorite by James Clear on the aggregation of marginal gains. 
And because ChatGPT, as I explained in the overview video, does not have immediate access to the internet, uh, like some chatbots do, we have to copy the text. No big deal. Now we're gonna pivot back over to ChatGPT. And you can see we've asked it to please summarize. And if you wanna, you can even put a colon there, but you don't need to. All right, and then I've given it the text from the website and go ahead and ask it to summarize this text. And ChatGPT does a great job telling us all about David Brailsford, his 1% uh, improvements that he made over time to make the British cycling team the best in the world. Um, there you go. It is ChatGPT is your genius collaboration partner for summarizing text. It can also help you with editing text. So let's say, well, I'm just gonna pull up the next example here. We've already asked it to summarize. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that I was gonna create a video explaining how ChatGPT works. And let's say I came, out, I came up with a paragraph of text that I wanna use in that video. And I'm not a really good writer. Um, and so I wanna know, I need, I need ChatGPT to help me write better. So I've, 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 written, I've written something and I'm giving it to ChatGPT and I'm saying, please provide feedback on this content. Now, you can see here all the red squigglies. There's a significant amount of spelling and grammar errors. We're not gonna hit that yet. First, we're just getting feedback on the content. How did I do? And so we'll ask ChatGPT, and it's gonna tell us, your description provides a vivid and accessible analogy for explaining ChatGPT, blah, 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 blah. It's giving us some decent, feel-good feedback. Just like with the Genius Tutor educational uh, example that I gave, because we asked it a blase question, we kind of got a blase answer. So the more precise we can be, if we were to ask it, I am targeting this information um, to the college educated or master's or doctorate level, um, please tell me how this lands. You're gonna get some, some better feedback, right? So better questions, better answers. All right, so you see how ChatGPT can give you feedback on your writing. You also saw how poorly I wrote this paragraph. Um, and this works, of course, with any text, but what I'm gonna do, because I know I don't write well and I spell wrong and my grammar's terrible, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT, or I'm gonna give it a follow-up. It didn't like that for some reason. I'm gonna give it a follow-up question. Please proofread for spelling and grammar. And we're having a conversation, so it knows what I'm asking it to proofread for spelling and grammar. I don't have to give it the text again. There you go. Certainly, boom. And so there's what I wrote, given back to me in perfect, super smart friend, super smart friend, everything's fixed, right? So it's given me, it's given right back to me the text that I provided, but no spelling errors, no grammar errors. Um, this of course works with anything, emails, et cetera. If, if you need help writing or reading as we've shown, ChatGPT is your genius collaboration partner. Okay, um, finally, just for fun, we could go all day with examples, uh, but this is the last one I'm gonna show you here. Um, again, it's remembering what we wrote. Please translate to Japanese. Certainly, here you go. And it serves you up uh, exactly what you asked for. There you go. Uh, we've talked about educating, collaborating, and now we're gonna talk about how ChatGPT helps you to create. It can be your genius assistant to create anything. All right, so the first example that I wanna show you um, right here is please, again, our hypothetical situation. Uh, we wanna create a video that shows people how to use ChatGPT. So please list the top 20 uses for ChatGPT. Create this content for us, please. Boom, top 20 uses for ChatGPT right there. Now, is all this perfect? No, probably not. Would you wanna regurgitate it word for word? No but it's always easier to edit than create. So let's say we like the top five answers that it gave us. I like those. Now I need to provide my audience some concrete examples. So go ahead and please provide examples. Uh, and I always use the word please in case the robots ever do start to take over. Um, you don't wanna be their enemy. Um, so if you notice that, that is, that is why I use the word please. Um, and my parents taught me well. Please provide examples for the top five. There you go. Now you've got some examples, you've got some ideas. Oh look, even some Python code thrown in there for fun. Really cool. 
Uh, ChatGPT is your genius assistant that can help you create anything. Uh, what else can we do here? I think I've got one more example towards the bottom. Please provide an example. Yes, please turn this into a poem just for fun. Again, we can do, it's limitless. I'm just throwing some examples out there to get your creative juices flowing. All right, back to our chalkboard. Why should you use ChatGPT? Anytime you need to educate, collaborate, or create. When you need an immediate answer from your genius tutor. When you need feedback or ideas from your genius collaboration partner. When you need something created by your genius assistant. Anytime you need to educate, collaborate, or create, and you need unlimited, free, text-only responses, and you don't need to upload documents or pics. ChatGPT should be your go-to genius. And the last most important reason is because AI or learning AI is important. Remember, AI won't replace humans, but humans that use AI will replace those that don't. Be the former, not the latter. Thank you for watching. If I've inspired you with any of these examples, please let me know. Uh, please also don't forget tons of link goodness in the description below. Please like, subscribe, or share this with someone that might find it useful. And as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.